So the next topic in your first module is small signal equivalent circuit models that is of MOSFET. Okay. So we have seen in the previous video the introduction. So now you are going to uh, draw the small signal equivalent circuit for that corresponding same diagram conceptual diagram which has been taken in the previous video. Okay. So you will be having in the previous video you had your your signal that is your AC signal as well as your DC signal. Right. So if you want to convert this into small signal equivalent then what what are the two conditions you have to do you have to make all the DC voltage as short circuit and the DC current as zero. In this case the DC voltage for example VGS should be made as short circuit okay. And what about your transistor this transistor will be now converted into its equivalent small signal model. So what will be your small signal model so if I draw here you will be having the input as your gate right source will be grounded and the output is your drain uh, across the gate you have your oxide layer so you will be opened so you will be having your input signal VGS output will be converted into your current source GM into VGS right if you take your channel length modulation into account then you will be having your small resistance or R0 so this is going to be your overall diagram so this is split into two different cases case one you are not going to you are neglecting the value of your channel length modulation and case two you are including your channel length modulation that is what given in your diagram. So your first diagram see here input is gate output is your drain your uh, common is your source which will be converted into your output current ID is uh, flowing will be uh, your output will be converted into your current source that is equal to GM into VGS right. So from this diagram what you can infer whether it is a voltage control device yes the output current is depending on your input voltage that is VGS. So it is acting as a voltage control device right. So in the second case you including the effect of channel length modulation you are going to add a resistor R0 in parallel. So these are the different two diagrams given in your text okay. So now uh, what you can write for six mark is from the signal point of view the SPED behaves as a voltage control current source. It accepts a signal VGS between the gate and the source and provides a current GM into VGS at the drain terminal. Okay. The input resistance of this controlled source is very very high um, so we can approximate to infinite. Similarly uh, the output resistance that is looking into the drain is also very high which can be approximated to infinite okay. So in the analysis of the MOSFET amplifier the transistor can be replaced by the equivalent circuit model as shown in figure A right as I have mentioned before. The rest of the circuit remains unchanged except what are the things we have done in the circuit two condition right DC voltage sources are replaced by short circuit and the current source can be replaced by your open circuit in the small signal equivalent of the amplifier. In the figure A your drain current um, it assumes that the drain current is in saturation therefore independent of the drain voltage. But from the MOSFET characteristics in saturation you know that the drain current depends on VDS right in the linear manner. Such dependence was modeled by the finite resistance R0. So you have your R0 which is equal to VA divided by ID where VA will be equal to your early voltage okay VA is equal to 1 by lambda. Now what about your drain current? ID the current ID is the value of the DC drain current right your DC that's why you have capital letter as I have mentioned in the previous video capital ID without the channel length modulation taken into account this that is channel length modulation is not there so lambda is equal to 0 so what will be your current ID current ID will be equal to half into KN into V O V square what is your KN KN dash into W by L right and over drive voltage V O V will be equal to VGS minus VTH. So typically your R0 is in the range of 10k to 1000k. The accuracy of the small signal model can be improved by including R0 in parallel with the controlled source as shown in the figure. Okay now what will be your gain? Uh, okay before gain the small signal model parameters GM and R0 depend on the DC bias point of the MOSFET. Okay now if you take this diagram okay so the gate uh, same diagram which uh, together I have drawn with channel length modulation. So in this what will be your output resistance this is your output voltage if I want to find out the output voltage what will be not which is equal to VDS which will be equal to current into your resistance right. 
current is equal to in the opposite direction that's why you will be having minus gm into vgs and what will be your resistance r0 parallel to rd total resistance right that is what written here now you know that vgs is nothing but input voltage if i bring it to down what you will be getting vds divided by vgs which is nothing but your gain right uh, voltage gain which is equal to output voltage divided by input voltage which is equal to what are the remaining factors minus gm into rd parallel to r0 that is what written here okay so this equation gives your gain so these are the important points which you can write for your small signal equivalent model